Right now, you go check about the shirt length. Okay. This one be 28. So you take the shirt length from behind, um, not in front. So, for the back, okay. 28. Now you go check about the chest. The chest. Mm -hmm. Look at them, bust. This shirt is the bolas more so you want to do it big. Um, By the pen, the person they went on. So this one be 39. Hello everyone, you are welcome on Soul with Corbin. You know how we do it here? It's always about fashion and sewing. In fact, sewing is our life and sewing for life. We are never stopping until we are six feet down below. Now, if you are here on this channel, it means that you know what you have to do already. You have to push the subscribing button and also click on the bell. Subscribe for updates so that anytime that you post anything on this channel, you receive it right on your phone. Today, Franco Fashion also signed up to sew with Pauvin. If you check him out, you can see what he is wearing. He did all this by himself. He is a master of the craft. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, give them some clothes already. So you can see, if this man is teaching you how to sew, then you have no thing to worry about. You have nothing at all to worry about. We call him Franco No Mistake. Franco No Mistake. Now, what are we here to do today? We are here today to show you about how to take measurements for a kimono or danshiki. You know that shirt that they sew with the sleeves and everything cut together, right? Good. He is so good that in fact, I don't need to talk so much. He will prove himself to you over time. Now, those of you that have been hitting me up on my WhatsApp that you need someone to teach you how to sew. This is another master for you to learn from. If you need him to teach you how to sew, his number is right under the screen. Just pick it up, hit Frank up. Frank will ever be willing to teach you. But you know, pay a penny. It doesn't work for free. Yes, you have to get it. Okay, now let's just go straight to the point and take the work right to you at your doorstep on my screen all right so frank let's start i want to sew a kimono or danshiki set shirt the one that we cut with our uh, sleeves and everything together with the shirt itself i want to teach our fashion our designers here how to take the measurements better so let's go thank you sir. all right the first time you go take the acro back so he means the first time you will take the across back mm -hmm. all right so the first time you go check about the normal aqua back. The normal aqua back be 18. But this one, it depends the way the person they want them. So you go do um this one be 28. So this one it means that you don't take only from shoulder to shoulder. No, no. But you also take it from the sleeve where the person wants the sleeve to be mm. to the other side. Yes. Right. Okay. So now, this one, Frank here speaks French better, right? So in case you're not really able to get his English wrong, well, forgive him, because he's a French-speaking person, right? Okay. okay, this one, the length will be 28. Okay. So, this one be... Right now, you go check about the shirt length. This one be 28. So you take the shirt length from behind? And so, for the back. 28. Now you go check about the chest. Look at them. Bass. This shirt is the bolas more so you want to do it big. Right. By the pen, the person they went on. So this one be 39. Okay. Right. Okay. So okay. it means that this shirt we don't sew it to fit. We leave space in the shirt so that the customer will feel free wearing it. It's an easy way, right? It's not a slim fit way. It's an easy way. So he doesn't want to take the measurement to fit me. That's why he took me to be 30, 39. 39. But my usual chest slim fit measurement is supposed to be like 36. Right. Okay. Oh, and uh, that's all. Wow, it's so easy like that, and most of us didn't know. So all you took was the back, the back, the length, 
and the chest and the chest mm. what about so we don't take stomach we don't take no, hip. No, the chest be big okay so, so there's no mm. need for you to take no, the stomach not. and the hip mm. so you use the chest, the chest element for both mm. doesn't mean that when you are sewing here will be straight there's no shape, shape. Oh, okay 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 what about the the neck you don't take neck the neck there i don't take them but what measurement standard measurement do you use for the neck for the neck yeah it depends so i have the measurement for the neck that one there depends the way the person did okay. so that one so should like, be different so, someone like me mm. what kind of measurement are you going to use for my neck so the neck there i don't have measurement for neck right now but if i do the cut now that one there the measurement you know i will do it so okay so let's say you are doing the cutting right now mm. right you've taken my back to be uh it was 21 okay. and you've taken my chest to be 39 mm. and then the length was also what was the length the, the length from the, from the back the, uh, 28 mm. okay so in case you are cutting right now what measurement do you think you can cook for my neck for the neck that one to the the measurement that one the measurement be different i cut some right now but the measurement be different so you want to join the shoulder before you go do the neck, the neck. so down there the measure the normal shirt you want to do the you want to cut the back measurement for the neck you no know. this one too different but this one you go do oh it'll be round oh, okay you go you okay. go join the shoulder you go go join go, the shoulders before mm-hmm. you cut so you oh, go do it round okay so that one there the measurement do not day for the back that one they want to take your mind to do to okay. do it okay all right so the next time that you hit or you get a video from our channel on your phone and the picture on it is Frank's face, it will be a video about how to sew the kimono set that he just showed you how to take the measurements. Right? So in case you are confused about anything, don't worry. Aside teaching you the measurements, he will come back to teach you how to use the measurement to sew for yourself and your customers. All right. Now I'll be having a short interview with Frank about how he's able to get customers how he handles cust- customers at least he has to share with you his experience this job is it good should people come and learn or is some bogus job that nobody should approach it doesn't pay you understand so let's end here check out for the interview bye bye